Hey everybody, welcome back to our five-part uh, multi-denominational hunt series. This is part five, the final one. I have um, 66 rolls of pennies left, a mix of fed-wrapped and customer-wrapped rolls. Um, if you like what you've seen so far, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get uh, notified when I post new videos. And hit that like button if you like what you've seen so far. All right, this um, tube over here is what we found for keepers in our last video to put into our album. And uh, let's get right into it. I'll bring you in when we find something. All right, roll one. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, we're on roll seven. Those first six rolls were kind of duds as I thought. In roll seven we have a 2009D, which I don't find very often. So that's a keeper for us. And out of the first six rolls, I pulled some keepers for the book, and we can get into that once uh, the end of this video, and we'll start to fill the book up. All right, so our first find in roll seven, I'll bring you back when we find something else. Roll number nine, and we have our first foreign. Not in bad shape. 2005. Let's keep going. Still on roll number nine, and we got our first weedy. 1956 D. Let's check that for any kind of RPNs. I don't see anything. The reverse. Nope. All right, we'll put that in our finds and I'll bring you back if I find anything else. All right, we're on roll 14, and we have our second Canadian in here. And it's a 2004. Some cool toning around the rim. All right, I'm bring it back in when we find something else. All right, guys, roll 15. We got ourselves a double die. Look at that. It's a nice one. All right, I'll bring you back in when we find something else. All right, so I just went to doubleddie.com and looked this one up. <clears throat> this one is the DDO number 13. Um, so yeah, if you go to Wexler's or doubleddie.com, <clears throat> go under Shield Sense 2019, number 13, you'll find this one. All right, let's keep it going. I'll bring you back in when we find something. All right, roll 20, and we've got a young head. 1957 for our third Canadian. I don't really see anything standing out here. But I'll bring you back if I find something. 
All right, we're still on roll 20, and I've got a 1990 under the scope. And we got a pretty significant die crack with a nice chip over the F. So I'll hold this one aside. Put this as part of our finds. I'll bring you back in when we find something else. Alright, roll 22, and we're on our fourth Canadian. 1977. Alright, I'll bring you back if we got anything else. Alright, just finished roll 25. And we have an 09 Lincoln. We have a Canadian 1979. And I pulled this 95 aside because the B's practically missing. I'll show you that on the camera. So we got a grease strike, which made. Uh, <clears throat> filled that B up so that's missing we'll hold that one aside as a find and on to the next roll I'll bring you back in if we find something all right roll 27 and yet another Canadian a 1979 young head but that's not all. We did get our albums. So I have these Whitman folders. This one's 1909 to 1995. And all the dates, I should say all the mint marks. And then we also have nineteen ninety six until current. This one goes up to twenty twenty five. Alright. So we'll get back into the hunt and at the end we'll do a fill. And I'll show you the updated albums. Alright, bring you back in on our next find. Roll 28, another Canadian. I can't believe how many we're finding. Commemorative from 1952 to 2002. Yep. And then we also had another one. Which is right here. One is 1990. I don't think there was anything else that caught my eye. I'll bring you back in if there's anything else in here. Roll 29 and another Canadian. 1989. Bring you in on the next find. Roll 31, and we just found a gorgeous 1968S. That'll be nice for the book. Alright, I'll bring you back in if I find anything else. Roll 32, and another Canadian. This is crazy. And I think there was another one in there. Yep. Right here. We got 1985. <clears throat> Alright. This Canadian hunt is getting a little ridiculous. I don't see anything else. Oh, wait. What's that? Mm 
Yep, another one. 1980. All right. I'll bring you back if I find anything else. Pray for a weedy. All right, guys. We're on roll 32. We have a 1968 Philly under the scope. But I bring you in because I'm looking at the O and the D. You think that could be... I got a mini cud above each letter. I'm not 100% sure. Um, maybe over the E as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments because I'm not 100% sure on this. But I'll put it aside <clears throat> as a find. Let me know what you think. Alright, I'll bring it back in when we find something else. What is this? Roll 34, and we got ourselves a second weedy. Nineteen forty-six Philly. All right, bring it back in when we find something else. Roll 36, and we finally have another weedy. Only a third on this hunt. It's a 1956. Not in bad shape. Alright, let's continue the hunt. I'll bring it back in if we find anything. Roll 43. Can you guess what we found? A Canadian. Two thousand six. So apparently there's some magnetic, where'd it go? Magnetic versions of these, which are very rare. And that's not one. All right. I'll bring you back if we find anything else. Roll 45, and we finally got another weedy. 1944. Pretty decent shape. All right, I'll bring you back in if we find anything else. I'm not looking promising. All right, roll 45, and I just pulled these two beauties. 1959 Philly and a 1973 Philly. They are. Those will be going in the album. The 59 is beautiful. Looks like a little bit of damage on the reverse. Looks pretty good though. Alright, I'll bring it back if we find anything else. Roll 47. We got another weedy. The 1942 Philly. All right, I'll bring it back in if I find anything else. Roll 52, and yet another Canadian. 1979. I'll bring it back in when we find something else. Roll 57, and we got a 2009. Formative years, I believe. And we can check it for the double thumb. And no. All right, I'll bring it back in when we find something else. Roll 58, and we finally got a weedy. 1940. All right, I'll bring you back in when we find something else. Still on roll 58. And we got another weedy. It is 1926. 
Nice. All right, put it aside. Get back when we find something. All right, that's a wrap. Part five's over. Here's our finds for the day. It's more like a Canadian hunt than anything else. 1957, a 61, 64, 72, 77, two 78s, two 79s, 1980, 84, 85, 89, 90, 2004, 2006, 2002, and 2005. For our finds, we have a couple of commemorative <clears throat> 2009 Lincolns. I don't remember what this one was. We have our 2019 DDO, 1968 with the possible cuds at the top. And our 1995 with the missing B. And then for our wheats, 1926, the 1940, 1942, 44, 46, 56, and a 56D. And then for our album finds, I tried to pull out mostly the red ones for right now. But I got a lot to go through. So let me get started on that. And I'll bring you back in when I get the albums filled up. All right, see you then. All right, so I have all of our finds from hunts four and five into book one. Nothing on the first page. One on the second page, 1926. Looks like four on the third page, 46, 44, 42. 40. Fourth page, nasty 1947, 1950, 1952S. Look at the difference between these two 1958D and a 1960 large date. I just like the toning of that one. I did have one that was shinier, but I like that one better. 61D. So I tried to pull out all the best examples that I could. I didn't want to throw in just random, random dates that I'd have to pull out again anyway. There are some in there like that, but not a whole bunch. So all in all, not a bad fill for book one. Nineteen eighty four, eighty five, eighty six, eighty seven. 88. I'm on the East Coast, so I don't get a ton of Denver minted coins. But if I find them in good condition, I'll put them in here. All right, that's it for book one. Let me work on book two and I'll bring you back. Album two is now filled with the finds that we had. That's page one. Yeah, that's my wife making weird noises. Page two. And page three. I probably won't get any of the proofs or W's in circulation, but you never know. There we go. That's it. Both albums filled from our two hunts, and uh, 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell. All right, till the next one. Bye.